Hello everybody, welcome back to Victoria 3. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to break this game. So I have just about 200 hours in this game so far, and making these videos, I have come to realize that this game has a few little, uh, let's call them exploits, but I'm pretty sure they were added into the game intentionally, and I'm going to show you how to abuse it. So, uh, first thing we're going to do as France, we're going to jack up our taxes up to level 5. We're going to add as many consumption taxes as we possibly can. We're also going to come over to the government tab. We start off suppressing the intelligentsia. We want to get rid of this because we want more authority to get even more consumption taxes. Set all your industry to automatically expand. We aren't really going to have time to deal with this today. We're going to have some other things to do. Set your military up to whatever's the most advanced. Build yourself a few construction sectors, doesn't really matter. Just get your construction going. And then we are going to improve relations with Prussia. Just enough for our relations to not be poor and to be neutral. That should only need a tick one time, so once that's done, stop improving relations. And now we are going to bankroll Prussia, Austria, and Russia in hopes to get an obligation. And once we get an obligation from all three, that is where everything is going to begin. So in the meantime, go ahead and start your research. We're going to do nothing but military. You're gonna rush down the street to get as far as you can, as fast as you can. I'm gonna start with field works. That's the best buff at first. And you're gonna also queue up a bunch of universities so that we can get as much innovation as we possibly can we want this number to be maxed at all times because research is the number one thing that's going to help us in this run set all your production methods to whatever is the most advanced especially for the university get philosophy department make sure your bureaucracy stays at the highest uh and set your urban centers up however you want all right, so we got a massive surplus here. Uh, if you want to just build more military, you can queue up a bunch of barracks if you'd like. Build more barracks, build more construction sectors. Doesn't really matter in this one. So all we're going to do, we're going to come over to our diplomacy tab and we're just going to wait for the obligations to fill up. Once we get an obligation from Prussia, Russia, and Austria, that's when we're going to start. In the meantime, set up your interest regions. You're going to add one in Anatolia and Arabia and then just literally wherever else you decide you want to stick one. And unpause the game until you get your obligations over these three major powers. All right, we got the first one from Prussia, so I'm going to stop bankrolling them and use that money elsewhere. All right, and there's a second one with Russia, so I'm going to stop bankrolling them. All right, I got my last obligation from Austria now, so I'm going to stop bankrolling them. We've got all of our money back. And quick note, if this takes longer than three years to do just restart and do it again sometimes you can get super unlucky and these will take like a good five years to do and if that happens you need to restart the whole strategy so now that we've got all three obligations first thing we're gonna do we're going to throw the concept of infamy out the window and start accumulating as much as we want so diplomatic plays make puppet ottoman empire 195 infamy but we don't care boom oh everybody hates us now i don't care though all right we're gonna watch this, see if anybody gets involved, see if the Ottomans will actually fight this or not. All right, looks like they are not going to fight and we get the Ottoman Empire for free. They are our puppet now. Wow, that was pretty easy. Moving on, next diplomatic play, we're going to conquer state. We're gonna conquer lower Egypt from Egypt. Now the Brits might get involved in this, but I don't really care because we wanna beat up the Brits anyway. Actually, we're going to just go ahead and declare them our rival because we're going to need to humiliate them later to prevent them from jumping into our diplomatic plays against us. So we're going to see if Egypt can get the Brits to help them or not. Looks like they did. So if that happens at a war goal, we're going to transfer subject and we're going to transfer the East India Company to us. And we're also going to transfer a few other subjects from the Brits to us. One's going to be the Hudson Bay Company. That one's a big one and probably New South Wales as well. And then just use whatever else. Do not worry about infamy at this point. We're kind of just throwing that whole idea out the window and just going balls to the walls. Your obligations are going to expire in just about 10 years. So you need to go as fast as possible. And we're going to try and take over as many things as possible before those 10 years are up. And by the time the 10 years are up, you should be powerful enough to take on all four of the other great powers without any help from anyone else. So go and mobilize troops. It looks like Egypt's going to fight this. I'm going to put troops on the border so we can rush in real quick and kill them. All right, we're going to be fighting this one. So your troops should be able to handle Egypt. What I'm going to do about Great Britain is I'm going to take my navy and I'm going to navally invade them across the English Channel. Now, you might be thinking, hey, don't they have a bigger navy than you do? 
And the answer is yes, they do, by about 45 ships. But I found that it really doesn't matter because most of the time you don't even encounter them. And even if you do encounter them, you can usually just uh, beat them up anyway. So we'll wait a second, see if we can get this naval invasion off. I've chosen to attack the same province twice. I find this to be slightly more effective for whatever reason. I'm not entirely sure why, but it seems to work just a little bit better. Uh, Great Britain is kind of awful about actually guarding the mainland. So sometimes you can just land for free like I just did. Uh, yep. And now we're just going to push and we're going to have like no contest for the longest time. Go ahead and grab another dude to send him in. You see all these split for fronts here you just want to attack as much as you can looks like our navy's gonna smack their navy which is epic and now great britain is gonna start losing a lot of war score really quickly egypt they're fine for now we can navally invade them later we're only trying to take cairo so that we can reduce egypt's power ranking because as an unrecognized major power we cannot puppet them but if they are unrecognized minor power we can so that's what we're trying to do and if we take cairo they will be demoted and then we can puppet them in another war afterwards so just bully the uk like any good frenchman already wants to do we'll watch and see what their war support is it's at 40 they're losing five per week which is a lot and they can't can't beat our military because their military sucks ass 106 versus our 280 what are you doing britain you trying to sail your little ships around everywhere but oops you forgot to put them in the bay and now we're on the mainland stupid uh-oh they're getting shat on Bleah. oh yeah i also forgot i was going to humiliate them oops my bad and look at that new south wales is ours india's ours canada's ours we're beautiful and blue and now we can bully the hell out of Egypt, so let's do another naval invasion. Naval invasion into Lower Egypt, boom! And do the same thing up here with the other guy. Basically the exact same strategy you just did against Britain, you're gonna do against Egypt, and you're just gonna... If you know what I mean. And there's a naval invasion, completely uncontested, because the AI is awful in this game. Oh, they put some troops on the border! You! You! Don't let them retake everything that we just took for free. No, stupid, stop it. Oh my gosh. Troop allocation in this game is damn awful. You get in there, beat up Egypt, take all their stuff and run with it. It's a certified French moment. Wee oui, wee, oui, baguette. Come on, Egypt, hurry up and die. I need you to die quickly so I can take your stuff faster. And that's it. Now we got Cairo. Now we're gonna move on to Spain and we gotta keep going. Actually, wait, I'm still at war with Defer. What? Uh, whatever. You can have war reps. I, I don't care. I gotta go fast. I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. That's why France is blue. All right. Uh, let's see. Does Spain? Yeah, Spain will get involved. Or Britain will get involved if we go to war with Spain. But it doesn't matter because Britain is weak. Austria can't get involved because they have an obligation. Same with Russia. Uh, Portugal, we might just, you know, annex them too while we're at it. If they actually get involved, that is. Fearful. Uh-oh. Is Britain not going to get involved? Is no one going to get involved? Are we just going to get a free win? Let's go. All right. All right. We'll take it. Wait for the war to start, and then we're going to naval invade the sides, push through the front. Same thing that we did to Egypt. All right. Push. Push through the, push through the mountains. Go faster. We've only got five years left of free bullying. We need to make the most out of it. <gasps> Peace deal. Is that the one? Puppet Spain? Yes, let's take it. Boom! Spain is blue, just like us. All right, next one. Immediately after, make puppet Algeria. You. Get your ass down there and start slapping people. Same with you. And you. Everybody go down there. Are they gonna fight? They're fearful, but they're not that fearful, I guess. Oh, never mind. They were actually pretty fearful. We're a pariah. We have 500 infamy. Let's go. We're not even 10 years into the game. Make puppet. Morocco. Oh, and Morocco gave up. That is the beauty of this. Once you're so powerful and no one can help them, they usually tend to give up pretty quick. All right. I want my borders to look like Rome, so I'm taking Tunis next. I'm really trying to bait Egypt into fighting me so I can puppet them immediately. Oh, uh, did my general die again? Dang it, he died again. What the hell, bro? All right, uh, uh, you. I know I just hired you, but you're now promoted to main general guy thing. Look at that face and that mustache. He, this is a man that I trust with everything. 
All right, and they gave up. Let's go. I love when everyone gives up and I don't even have to do anything. Oh, yeah, I can take Persia as well. Oh, yeah, I'd have to be interested in Persia. Boop, I forgot about that. Oh, what is this? Revolutionary Cuba? Sounds like a load of I don't care. Cuba can go do whatever the hell it wants. I'm not fighting for Cuba. I'm not fighting for like a buck fifty. Oh, yeah, I can take Jabal Shamar. Yeah, let's do it. We'll get Persia in just a second. We still got four years before our free reign comes to an end. Come on, Britain, get involved. I know you want to. You really want to. You want to you want to hop over this. You want to support. You want to support them. Come on. I know you do. I guess never mind. You really don't. All right, uh, buddy, get to the front so that if they fight, you can take care of it super fast. Let's go giving up, gang. All right. Uh, Persia next. Let's do it. You. Get your ass back over there. I didn't say you could leave the Middle East. Now, usually you have to fight Persia because they get support from like Afghanistan. Oh, never mind. I'm just, I'm just, I, ne forget everything I say. Nothing I say actually matters in this. Everybody gives up. Everybody gives up. And I like it. I want two Sicilies next. You. Yes, you. You're going to be mine. Uh oh, looks like Austria and two Sicilies had a defensive pact. That means I'm going to make Austria my rival. And I am going to add the war goal of humiliate and humiliate them to give me an extra five years of them not being able to tell me what to do. And then I'm also going to puppet freaking Sardinia. Come on, Britain, hop on, hop on the party bus. You can take an ass whooping too. I'm dishing them out everywhere. I got one specifically with your name on it. The Hundred Years War says it's time to for part two. All right, they're gonna fight. Are they gonna fight and win? No, they're gonna fight and lose. All right, naval invasion. Where's Don Donat? Go invade, invade two Sicilies as Donat. Dang it, I'm losing this fight, but it's fine because they're weak and stupid. Let's go, we landed. Why are you on standby? Did I tell you to stand by? No, I told you to freaking keep pushing and kill everybody. Oops, I made another mistake. Uh. Peasants, let's build bullet shoot places. All right, yeah, don't be like me. Don't don't forget to build your munitions like I did because I'm dumb, but I'm, I'm going fast. We're Sonic the Hedgehog. Let's go, now we're winning, kind of. I mean, more so, they're just losing. I'm not really winning particularly. Dang, the offense is still poo-poo because I forgot to buy bullets. I guess they're just, I, I don't even know. They're just probably just stabbing people with the bayonets of their guns, to be honest. Let's go. Two Sicilies is mine. We can set another naval invasion in Piedmont. Go, Adrian. Do a, do a Piedmont. Where's Adrian? Where'd he go? <gasps> there he is. Let's go. Adrian moment. He's just bullying them from behind and they're too stupid to send troops. I love this game. Ooh, another free border. Uh, uh, you go into the free zone and take all the free stuff. Never mind, it's not free anymore, but we're about to win anyway, so it's fine. They're gonna be humiliated, and that's five more years where Austria can't tell me what to do. Which actually isn't very helpful because they were the ones that had the last obligation, which means they had the longest timer. But it's fine because we got all this now. Uh, let's grab Portugal while we're at it. That's a pretty easy one to grab. Let's make them a puppet real quick. Go, go. They're still fearful and they gave in. Let's go. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Uh, you do you do have a government. Uh, uh, just uh, just do government things over here. And they gave in to look at us. We're so cool looking and awesome. Very blue. Wait, can we can we go to war with Egypt? Ah, no, it's not August. Uh, it's not August. What the hell? Oh, let's take Greece then. We're gonna we're just gonna grab the old Roman borders because why not? Oh. Oh, oh yeah, that's that's another thing I completely forgot about. Uh, if they form, if if the if the if two Sicilies forms Italy and you control two Sicilies, then you control all of Italy. So there you go, free uh free stuff. Oh oh, let's go. Egypt got involved. We're gonna make them a puppet. Stupid, dumb. <laughs> let's go. Greece gonna be mine. Egypt gonna be mine. Who didn't put any troops here? Hey. Hey, hey, guys, I'm trusting you to guard your own borders. If you're not going to guard your own borders, I'm going to annex you. This is how this works. So do your job. 
I'm I'm sorry for your loss. There's like 53 people versus 25,000. <laughs> Egypt's gonna be mine. Ha ha. They're gonna be mine. Ha ha ha. Egypt is belong to me. Ah 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 ah. So, uh, just slightly over 10 years in game time, and we look like this. Uh. Uh, let's go over the countries that we own. We got we got France, we got Italy, Spain, Switzerland, Ottoman Empire, Egypt, Tripolitania, Tunis, Algeria, Morocco, Portugal, Jabal Shamar, Persia. We have uh, I'm not gonna be pronounce any of these. We're just gonna call this India or the Raj. We got New South Wales. We got we got uh, what will be Mozambique in the future. We're, uh, I don't know what this one is called. And we got the Hudson Bay Company. Uh, if you didn't know, this is the most busted strategy in this game, and I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if they like uh, patch this out of the game. To be honest, this is a little, this is a little much. All right, but that's going to do it for this video. If you like that, be sure to leave a like and maybe subscribe if you want to see more content like this. I will be doing more content like this, maybe not exactly like this as in World Conquest, but I will be doing more Victoria 3 tutorial guides and stuff like that. And we might experiment and see with some other content to see what else you guys might like to watch. So with that being said, I will catch you all in the next episode. Goodbye.